But what we want to do today is go a little bit further and let you know that, yes, there is an inheritance out there for us, but at the same time, there are enemies to our inheritance. There are things, there are forces, there are tricks of the enemy that are trying to prevent you from reaching your destination where your inheritance is concerned, that are trying to keep you from uh, laying hold of that inheritance, to dissuade you, get you to quit, make you think, okay, um, yes, the Lord had promised that and I was believing that four times, but for whatever reason, now I'm in a place where um, maybe that's for somebody else or that isn't for me. So let's see from the scriptures what the Lord has for us today about our inheritance and the potential for enemies to come in and try to dissuade us from laying hold of our inheritance. Proverbs 4.23 is where we're going to start today. If you got it, let's read it. Keep your or keep thy heart with all diligence, with all diligence, for out of it are the issues, some places it's written, the boundaries of life. Keep that heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues or the boundaries. Of life. We had just mentioned a, a few moments ago where the Lord was talking with us about Philippians 4 and 13 regarding strongholds. Strongholds. Your strongholds are not physical strongholds. The strongholds are built up in your heart and in your mind, these are things that sometimes we don't even think about that are going on around us, either through news, social media, past experiences, and so on and so forth. Through watching these things and hearing these things on a regular basis, we begin to develop this stronghold saying, I can't get here. I can't do that. Nobody who's ever looked like me has ever accomplished so much or has accomplished that thing. The Lord says, look, if you come to a place where you receive a seed or receive a word, receive revelation along the lines of something like Philippians 4.13, here's what the Lord is going to say to you to back that up. Here would be the next thing, perhaps, that he would say to you. He's going to say to you, look, now that you've got, now that you've received Philippians 4.13 or whatever it is that you're believing God for, whatever scripture that he's given to you for, whatever he's guiding you through and guiding you to, here's what he might say to you next. He's going to say, now, guard your heart. Keep your heart. Attend to your heart with all diligence above all that you guard. 